welcome to the Chris Evans Podcast here on Second Banana Media. It is Thursday, May 16, 2024. Hoping you're having a great day. Don't forget, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe here on Second Banana Media. Got a bunch of fun stuff, including Chamber Vibes, a production for the Chamber of Commerce. Got the High School Huddle. We'll talk a lot of high school sports and other variety of podcasts here on Second Banana Media. Today, you want to talk about the road rage incident that took place on Tuesday here in Logan County. Started in Guthrie and finished out in the county near Cedar Valley. And I got got the police reports today, and it uh, a deputy said he was at the intersection of Highway 33 and Highway 74, speaking with another driver, when all of a sudden a truck almost ran into them. And the driver of the truck pulled up and said, hey, I was involved in a shooting incident uh, just moments ago on State Highway 33. And the actual location of the shooting ended up being just before the golf course, uh, 500 Duffy's Way in Guthrie. Uh, The victim said they were driving in Guthrie on the west side of town. If you're familiar, around 10 or 11th Street, uh, two lanes turns into one lane. The driver said he got in front of the white truck with a camper shell. And once he got in front of him, the driver of that Ford truck uh, began yelling and giving hand gestures. Um, And so they keep driving west. And the the driver, we'll call him the victim, said they pulled over on the side of the road to allow the the white truck to drive around and just be done with the uh, road rage incident. But instead, the victim said the driver of the Ford truck got out of his truck, showed a firearm, and fired it into the back of the victim's truck, shattered the windshield. It hit rickish, It hit the headliner over by the handle on the passenger side uh, up there. It hit the head, headliner and then bounced around in the truck. The the victim and the deputy went back to the scene, and at the scene, they were able to locate a casing. Deputies uh, know their firearms well, identified as a 45 caliber casing. About this time, the Lone County Sheriff's Office requests the assistance of the Guthrie Police Department and their flock cameras. This is uh, the camera system that uh, you've seen multiple times on Guthrie News page. They're surrounded uh, throughout the city limits of Guthrie, including one out uh, on Highway 33, and they were able to go into the system. The camera system basically takes a snapshot of vehicles and their tags. And the, the, the police department looks up the flock system and sees that there were two vehicles at around 445, which was the time that the victim had said this had, t- had taken place. And not only do they see the, the trucks that were in question but also a tag and so they run a tag and they go out to the house uh the residence of the suspect and that uh suspect uh ends up being john michael signan uh they went uh, they went to his residence and the wife opened the door and said uh, that john signan was uh at the house and that's when deputies begin to talk with him. They asked to come outside and talk. And uh, the deputy, they, the deputies asked him if, they, if, if Mr. Sina had been involved in a road, road rage accident or incident in Guthrie. And he said, it, quote, not really, no. And then deputies asked Mr. Sina, what that, what's that really mean? And Mr. Sina, according to the police report, said, quote, well, a guy sat there and then cut me off. All I did was slip him off and left. Uh, deputies later asked if uh, Mr. Signing carries a gun, and he said yes, and that he identified the gun as being a 45 Smith & Wesson. So uh, I mentioned, and the deputies found the 45 casing where the shooting allegedly took place. Uh, not too far from there, they continued to ask uh, Mr. Sign multiple questions, and uh, he, he, at this time, was talking to deputies. Uh, they asked Mr. Sign if he had fired a gun today, and he said, yep, uh, quote, yep, Y-E-A-U-P, yep. Uh, he said he had uh, fired his gun at a shooting range uh, earlier in the day in Meridian. And then the deputies 
kind of let Mr. Sonny know ahead, hey, we got testimony from the witness, and we have camera system that are giving us some information that you were in that area with the road rage and the uh, where the shooting t- took place. And all Mr. Sonny said, according to police report, quote, he's mistaken, talking about the, the suspect, the victim, his story uh, was mis- mistaken. And so uh, they, they find out that the gun is, the gun is inside the truck. Uh, Mr. Stein said it was there. And Mr. Stein came back. Uh, they asked him again uh, if they want to talk, and he said, uh, sure. And then they're asking, can we go into your truck and get the weapon, or do we need to file a search warrant? And he, ba- Mr. Stein basically said, you need to get a search warrant. Uh, he was taken to the Lone County Jail where they tested for a gunshot residue uh, on his hands. And uh, he was arrested and uh, arrested for shooting with intent to kill. And that was the official charge by the Logan County District Attorney's Office. You can be arrested for, for one reason, but then the District Attorney's Office formally makes that charge of what they think they can get a conviction on in court and in the courtroom uh, on Thursday, uh, Mr. S- uh, the state district attorney's office asked for a $40,000 bond and the Mr. Sines attorney asked for a $25,000 bond. The ju- judge today handed down a $50,000 bond and uh, uh, a, a court date in June as well. So. That is the latest uh, on this road rage incident, the 911 call. You can tell the, the, the uh, victim in the case was very, very scared, and as rightfully so. And once again, the flight camera system, it's a, it's, a, it's a situation where people love it. Like in this situation here, it really helps law enforcement officers. There's those who are totally against it, but we see uh, police using this type of system to solve what looks like uh, – a crime here that where a lot of details and information look to be uh, coming together uh, in this case. So we will continue to follow this story here. And uh, again, a great job by law enforcement officers to put all the pieces together. And we'll see how this one plays out. Of course, always remember everyone is innocent until proven guilty. So that is the latest information on the road rage incident that took place on Tuesday. Don't forget here on Segment of Media to subscribe to get all your favorite podcasts. We'll talk to you next time.